Hey, welcome back everybody. Any uh, new subscribers? Uh, what we got here is the uh, Axial XX10 version 3 Gladiator. It's a long wheelbase one. Uh, it's brand new. It has been out of the box. Uh, it's not so much about this. It's more about all this crap. It's just full of shit. Full of it. So... I got all these. I still got these three I'm still farting around with. So we'll get to them. But this, uh, apparently he had a real gladiator. And then for whatever reason, he got rid of it. And he had already bought this to make it look like his real one or something like that. And uh, I guess he didn't want the rack on there. So he tried to uh, super glue this pan up in here. And super gluing and Lexan, they hate each other. All they do is just make a big white mess. So we're going to get all this cleaned up make this look nice and uh other than that like i said it's brand new it's got everything in it hasn't even been run hasn't even been turned on so let's get to the interesting stuff all that stuff let's see what we got in there and start off with we got a brand new charger dual battery at once charger and two brand new sealed batteries and two wipo bags so that's that's good. Like I said, all oh, this shit's sealed. This the that uh, charger isn't sealed. That box you can open it up, but the bay the light posts they're still sealed. All right, what else we got? Yeah, what else we got? We got a little stand to put your vehicle on. Uh, super glue. Got some extra uh, rock sliders for the uh, stock ones. And some aluminum shocks here. I don't know if these are any good or not. Probably some China stuff. I don't know. Yeah, there's some China crap written right there. So I'm not sure if they're any good or not. They might be. Who knows? I have four of those. And a thing of uh, screws. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of neat. Little tire rack thing. You can put your tires on there. Got a set of rims. These are uh, Club 5s. Not too bad. Aluminum. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the offset is on them. A little bit offset, not much. I have four of them with little uh, fake ass brake rotors back there. And they come with a little center cap that goes on them. Like that. Not sure what I'll do with those. We'll figure it out though. All right. Let's dig some more shit out. Hey, right, what else we got? We got a full set of these. Uh, I think these are Axials 2.2s. BF Goodrich Crawler TAs or some shit like that. I don't know. So we got tires and foams, just normal foams. Rims, brand new. I think he mounted them on there. One of them had a little problem. One of the hubs is yeah. One of the hubs is on the vehicle was messed up. And we got another set of brand new ones right here. Two more. So I got. Two sets of these SDS ones. Got some two-stage foams here. Got some pit bull tires. These are soft-ass tires. So, I don't know if they're any good. They're brand new. So, I got two more tires here with no rims in them. And then I just stuck them on that tire rack thing. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, here's the last of it. We got some uh, metal hinges for the body to put where the hinges are for the doors and crap like that. Uh, got a little exhaust goes on the back. A little pipe stick out. So uh, some mounting stuff for these uh, Proline water jugs, fuel jugs. Got some of them uh, little traction ramps. Fake ass Yeti cooler. Yeti cooler. Uh, got some more tools and stuff. Got Thor's hammer. This thing is huge. And it's metal. And yeah, that's a little out of scale if you ask me. Got an aluminum jack here. Oh, fire extinguisher, some chain. Got a little Hot Wheels gladiator. Cool. Got some wheel weights. Got an aluminum rear bumper with lights. 
got a plastic front bumper with lights and uh, some of the hooks, tow hooks, and the, that guideline thing for the winch. Uh, got some more lights here. They, these go on the crowd right in front of the windshield. Little side lights. So, oh, brand new. This thing, this thing you got to... This, I looked this up online. These things are like 25, 30 bucks. I was like, it's just a piece of metal, and yet you still got to order another thing. I guess it's like a little tent thing you order from like RC four wheel drive. It makes it look like you got a little camper bag or something on the back of the thing. I don't know, but it, I don't, I don't know who knows. It, it's ridiculous. Got a RC four wheel drive winch. Just the winch. Doesn't come with the remote or anything. So. But those always look good. That looks nice. Cool. Uh, got some brass. Got some diff covers that are brass. Two of those. Got some heavy brass for the for the wheels. Put them on there. And uh, whenever extras came with the uh, the kit, the ready to run. All right. So box is empty. A piece of foam, maybe some lint or something in there. All right. Oh, and then uh, the usual little some zip ties and some extra stuff here. And the dude even sent me a thank you card because uh, actually it, it's I seen it. I was gonna bid on it and I didn't, and it sold. So I just like oh whatever. I missed out. I'm not a biggie. And then my phone beeped and then it was on there and it was getting ready to end. So I bid on it. And I, I want it, but uh, apparently the dude didn't pay. That I hate that shit. Damn. If you're going to bid, pay. If you can't pay, don't bid. Whatever. So, cool. All right. So, that's a lot of shit. Damn. So, what am I going to do? Well, basically, I'm just going to throw all this shit back in the box because i got to do stuff to this. So, let's get on this and get this fixed up right and see what we can do to this to improve it. All right, let's move on to that. All right, let's get going on this. This is already undone, so that's good to go. Ugh. Get rid of this. I don't need this damn thing. All right. Let me put y'all on the giant stand. All right, this was all super glued in there when I originally got it. So I busted that out. So we're gonna repaint this. Get this all taken apart. I'm gonna pull this back half off. Get this off here so we can get this cleaned up and get this right. Clean all this white shit up. All right, so let me get this stuff off and we'll be back. All right, got it apart. I'm gonna clean this up, scuff it up a little bit, clean that stuff up, and I'm gonna spray it with my, uh, where my shit at? Where my shit at? Not that. Black label Krylon Fusion all in one. Just make sure it's for plastic. Make sure it's the black label. So I'm gonna spray that. I'm also gonna go all the way around here. And then paint this black too. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm definitely pulling this tint off these windows so you can see inside there and see some of this stuff. Got a lot of shit in here, but there's, you can't see none of it. So, let's get going on that. Oh, we're also going to paint the roof black. So, this section of the roof is all going to be black. Because it's kind of scuffed up. So, let me get going on that. And we'll get back to you. Alright, things moving along nicely. Got it back together. Painted the top black. So, cut that out of the way. Uh, what else we do? Oh, I took the, if you look here, this is real dark. I took that out here so you could see in there a little better. Before you couldn't see shit, it was just like some shadow. So, mounted some, uh, some Proline water and fuel tanks. Mounted that Yeti cooler in there, so that's in there. Snagged these tools up out of the, uh, oh, damn. Out of the, uh, TRX-4. I ordered a couple more sets of these. They're like six bucks a set, so I ordered two. They're easy enough. You can put them on damn near anything. They're so easy to put on. Yeah, what else? Yeah, let me set you down. Maybe I can get that body back. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. Let me 
Yeah, I got that in there. Looks pretty good in there. Painted all this. Painted this black. I took the window sticker, the yeah, the window sticker off the back too, so it's a little clearer in there. Painted black around here on the outside of this thing. It had a little of that super glue on it. Cleaned it up a little bit. Like I said, so a couple tanks, some tools. Got this cooler mounted in there. Cooler actually opens up. There you go. There's no gears or nothing in there, but they and they put these uh, little grip trays or whatever the hell they call them on the side there. I also got a couple more tanks left, but it's a dual tank setup, so you put run two of them. I was thinking of putting it in here, maybe here, somewhere in here, because it sticks out too far on the side. So I think it'll be all right. All right, so what else we got to do? We got to do something with these wheels. Got to figure these out. And then uh, figure out if we're going to cut off some more of this uh, tint so you can see in there a little better. I don't know why they tinted them. I mean, they put the little dude in there and then they tint the bejesus out of them. So you can't see the little dude. All right, so we're coming along, getting it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What else? Uh, one second. We're going to put this on there, on the back. Make it more of a trail truck than a rock crawler. These ain't the best rock crawlers in the world anyway. I mean, they are right for what they are. But, you know, they're pretty good in there. Mount that up in there. You just see the pipes. Maybe I'll cut the pipes off and just have one coming out the sides here. Probably do it. Something to mount this on. All right, we'll look into it. When I'm sorry, when I'm sorry. What the hell is this shit? Since we go into town, I mean, if, if I resell this, I, I'm not gonna get it much. If I buck something, you know, after fees and everything, it's, so it's not worth selling. Same with these. I might get 15, 20 if I'm lucky for this bumper. Look at that. Made in China. Cheap ass shit. But it's a metal bumper. It's not a bad brand. It's got lights and crap, so that's it should be all right. And we're gonna, this one, we're going to put this one on, too. So we're going to put this front bumper on. And I'm thinking I'm going to mount this winch on there, too. So, because I'm not going to get much for this. What, 35 bucks, maybe, if I'm lucky? Then minus the fees. It just ain't worth it. I'd just stick it on here. So, all right, we're going to put this front bumper on. Because this front one looks like caca. Not much to it. All right, so let me get this opened up and let's see what we got going on. All right, got the bumper on there. Don't look bad, the lights work. I ain't gonna turn them on because I gotta hook the battery back up. Still got some uh, wires I gotta fiddle with and shit. So that's the front one. It's on there. That winch gets mounted right down inside there. So that's pretty good, I guess. What else? The back one. Got the back one in. It's got a couple lights on it, too. So, that seems to be all right. If it's all right, it's good. Don't think I'll be able to get this on there. This just ain't going to fit. I don't even know where you'd mount it. There's no mounting spot for it there. Eh, maybe. Let me fiddle. See what we can get going here. Right, but it's looking good. Looking a lot better than uh, when it arrived. Oh, just needed a few things. Just put the stuff on he already had. That's about all. Well, I don't know if I'm putting a sound box in there or not. Where's the sound box? Sound box. Sound box. So we might be shoving that in there too. Still got to figure out something with these wheels. They look like caca. Too much silver. All right. So, uh, this is probably done for now. Ain't much more I can do to it. Get it, rest of it wired in. I still gotta put the tail lights in. I was thinking of getting some other lights for it. Some, uh, my trick RC or something. Some better ones. And then wire them in so there's just an on off switch over here. Then it could just power off like a little 2S, a little teeny one. Cause, uh, that way you can turn them on and off. I don't know. I'll have to look, see what they got. 
because these are going to run off the receiver. And then uh, the winch, I'm not hooking that crap up. I don't have the remote and all that stuff. I just got to route all these wires so it don't look so funky. And uh, what else? I got to detail that motor. And then we'll be good. Get that detailed. Be good to go. Easy enough. All right. Till next time. We'll see when else we can get done.